Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, today I've got an interesting uh, video. We are going to analyze uh, the commodity uh, currencies that include uh, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar against US dollar. Uh, as you guys, if you guys are new to my content, uh, please go ahead. I have already posted a post about um, Elliott Wave analysis of and combined with the WD Cannon analysis of the stock market, which is Dow Jones, S&P 500, and Nasdaq, gold and silver, um, crude oil, some currencies, which is British pound, euro, and uh, British pound, euro, and Japanese yen, and crude oil. We already mentioned that, and Bitcoin as well. So I'm trying to complete a whole. Um, uh, the whole basket where we can actually discuss uh, everything um, m at least the most uh, part of the major market uh, in the forex in the energy sector in the uh, in the stock market itself in uh, cryptocurrencies and in precious metals so in in uh, in connection with that i have uh, uh, decided to add three more currencies in our basket where we will normally look on and i'll tr try to cover them on a regular basis from today on so in today's video, we are going to look at Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and Canadian dollar. Some very, very amazing uh, trading opportunities are expected in the in, in next weeks, and we are uh, seeing some very nice trends at the beginning, uh, at the initial stages, uh, or just before the beginning. So let's dive into it. Let's first of all, we are going to discuss uh, Australian dollar. Now, um, I already mentioned in my other video that I'm expecting there's a huge depression coming. And when the huge depression comes in, precious metals play a very important role. Uh, you can uh, buy into precious metals or you can buy into commodity uh, currencies, and uh, which is also uh, very useful. Uh, so uh, gold and silver, you can definitely look for my analysis on the other, but let's see what interesting opportunity is in there in the Australian dollar. First of all, we have seen a major dip. If you look at the chart, uh, let me draw it into weekly chart. So first of all, if you can see the major uh, the major swing on a monthly level, let's see if we can get enough data. Okay, not that much. So we can clearly see on a weekly level that we have uh, probably a trend coming from the top, and then we can clearly see a trend that actually went up, and we have seen a huge correction in the middle, and it carried on. The point is that this trend went up and then this trend went came down and I believe that we've already completed for the bottom for the next trend to go up uh, and this is the major major uh, thing that I'm interested in I'm expecting for British uh, for Australian dollar to go uh, right above and create a double top with this one right over here this is the long-term target I'm uh, I'm sharing with you guys this is the yearly waves we expected to see that in um, I would say next three to four years all right so let's dive let's bring that back to daily our um, daily chart so that we can actually try to make some uh, trading opportunities here you can see if you are uh, interested in Elliott wave analysis we can definitely see a correction right over here another correction is right over here too and another right over here too I, straightforward if you're looking at it we can see that wave one is uh, strongly uh, a strong wave and is uh, subdivided clearly wave two is right over here Wave 3 is not as subdivided, so in this case, wave 1 is the largest wave, and we have wave 3, wave 4, and wave 5. So initially, we can simple uh, wave analysis, we can simply do that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And now, when prices were coming down, you can see kind of this area got retested in this area. So giving us an important the head and shoulder pattern, which is not very fancy, but it still occurred at the top and we have seen prices coming down and uh, then we have initially another scene and a jump and prices coming down I do believe there is quite possibility that we are uh, quite lucky to, to first of all for prices to bring further down so that we can go long and we are also very very close uh, to the uh, very important structural support so we can bring that back here to see the previous uh, right over here too so this is kind of still in that region. We won't see that the price is actually penetrated through that. Uh, just imagine that as a support zone, imp important support zone right over here too. So we can still see that the prices are still hanging by right over in here. My point right now here is that either we are very, very close uh, to forming the top, and we're going to discuss that on hourly time frame too. So this is what I'm looking at it in in a. Uh, in the major concern is concerned. I believe that we are very, very close to the completion. Either we have completed this 
correction which actually started right from our top over here uh, we have completed that right over here too or there's a possibility that we have if we have not completed that then we are going to complete that very soon and uh, we can see we can use traditional technical analysis for uh, confirmation purposes all right now we can clearly see that we can use uh, the strength of price movement as a this diagonal line we can see clearly and I know you're looking at price structure and you're saying such a strong move downward and this person is anticipating a price going upward and I want to give you right over here too so uh, there are comes time there are times in which uh, the prices are oversold the uh, particular instrument is oversold strongly and that bought into it so a lot of time this is done traditionally by large huge institutions to scare off retail traders they are well aware of it a major trend is expected because uh, which trail which retail trader would enter at this place and put stop loss right over here too no one right so I'm expecting kind of similar behavior we are seeing kind of similar behavior in silver as well so for details please look into that but I'm right now expecting that we are looking something like this on hourly time frame uh, we can definitely definitely use this area or you want to use uh, probably this area so when prices and this is my uh, analysis technical technical analysis when prices I'm expecting the prices would actually come a little low before they can head back up right over here so when prices come a little low right over here let's say and then then they go up across of 70 0 0.71 would be an indication that the uh, the trend has changed on a daily time frame analysis and then we can go long the beauty of that uh, chance is that we are going to go expanded uh, we are going to create an extended uh, trend something like this right over here too so I'm expecting I'm not going to see the next target right over here too but the at least we can create is uh, that next V right over here that is going to be our next target on the upside uh, for Australian dollar but for entry point we got to wait there is a possibility that probably we are going to go a little low which will create a double bottom right over here too do not simply go long right over here too because there is a point if in case we see um, a sudden dip all of a sudden it is a, a trainer try to push uh, or scare off retail traders I do not want you to get caught on into that so we definitely need to, to use a previous support structure which when crossed would give an indication that the trend has changed and we can that can definitely take benefit of it so I wanted to share it with you guys if you guys are interested in my seeing my content please do put the uh, push that subscribe button do push that thumbs up so this is done with the Australian dollar now New Zealand dollar is an even interesting opportunity because if you look at it this is the weakest uh, commodity currency right now against US dollar uh, we have seen major major trend right over here too and we have also created a lower uh, a new lower low right over here too so I have drawn this structure simply uh, that we can consider this as a B and C and another which is W another X and we have a B and C right over here too so I believe that we are very very close uh, to the completion of the correction right over here so we can consider it as W this is X and this is Y right over here too all right and I'm considering this price movement let's have a look quickly as uh, I'm considering this whole price movement as we have one right over here we have two right over here we have three right over here we have four right over here and we have five right over here now if you look at the structure then once again we are very close to the in the support zone of wave two so this is very important we can definitely draw a trend line uh, horizontal line actually right over here support line to give us an indication how far we are from right over here too so we are right now very close to that support zone and I'm expecting that a v-shape uh, reversal is expected right over here too in that case we can actually expect a little lower prices right over here too there is expected this is expected on Monday and then I'm expecting that we're gonna see uh, a pattern something like this which would form a v-shape uh, price recovery and our next target is gonna be right over here too so New Zealand dollar, dollar is since is the weakest against US dollar against commodity in commodities pardon me, in commodity uh, currencies then it's going to be very very interesting price movement uh, so this is what I'm looking at it the major swing is expected upward as far as the smaller structure is concerned we have double top on hourly time frame and I would love to use that as an entry point when broken when this double top is broken 
uh, right over here too. We let's we bring that closer. I'm talking about this. So when this double top is broken, uh, I would be interested to go along. This would be a lovely, lovely opportunity to go along. But I'm not gonna wait for the prices to simply crash and try to uh, catch a falling knife right over here. I definitely need at least one structure that I can use uh, to say that okay, structural support has been broken uh, on a very small time frame, which is hourly right over here too. We can definitely use another tool um, if you are interested in being a little more uh, careful, which you should be um, right over here too. This is a support line which is covering the whole uh, price movement downward. And then we have also another support line which is covering this price movement. And that would be interesting to know. So I'm bullish on New Zealand dollar. I believe that next few uh, trading days are going to be very, very interesting. We are at the at the beginning of some very nice uh, trend or we are very very close uh, to the beginning of that trend and we can definitely take advantage of that trend uh, right over here too up till that moment so it's going to be a pretty nice movement Canadian dollar one of the most amazing uh, currencies on a weekly time frame analysis we can definitely see that uh, uh, you, if you're looking at this whole structure I'm considering this as wave A, wave B and wave C the larger structure that I'm expecting uh, within uh, Canadian dollar is this one so I'm expecting that we are going to see some major move uh, downward uh, please understand that this is an upside down uh, chart so when prices come down on this chart uh, that would be making Canadian dollar stronger uh, so I from the beginning I'm just in the habit of making uh, just trying to um, analyze on this particular chart where Canadian dollar is upside down the chart is upside down but we can change it in the future. Uh, so this is the major th this is the major trend that I'm looking for, the major structure. I'm considering this as an expanded flat, uh, in in which wave C is much longer as compared to wave A. So I'm considering this as wave A, three wave structure, a three wave structure, and a five wave structure. Let's have a look on a daily time frame and see what is expected right over here too. We did see some uh, very. I did uh, cover it in the, in my previous videos. One of my previous videos, I think two or three months ago, uh, when prices were reversing right over here too, and we got pretty good uh, profits when price was reversing. So first of all, the support zone. This is the most important support zone we can see right over here too. We have seen one, two. There's a lot of noise right over here too. So you can say one zone right over here too, second and third, and we have another rejection in this area right over here too and right now we are very, uh, here as well and right now we are very close to the completion of it so on a four hourly time frame let's have a look and see if we can uh, bring the so first of all there is a possibility th uh, on a daily time frame that the Y is yet not complete in that case we are going to de definitely see prices touching in this area but support zone is important I'm expecting that this resistance uh, would not be broken because there is so much resistance in this region Alright, in that case we can bring Y right over here too and this is wave 1 and this is wave 2 we can bring that right over too which would push the prices down and mind you we have spent a lot of time in a, in a distribution starting from here or at least here so we have seen a lot of distribution happening in this and I'm expecting that uh, it's going to be sharp move downward 4 hourly time frame or uh, hourly time frame so we can actually see look at the break once again, if you guys are seeing, I'm kind of seeing a double bottom forming right over here too. It's uh, not as uh, attractive as we would love to. We definitely can use the lower. Uh, so I'm considering this as a double bottom. They're apart a bit, they're not, but I'm still considering them as a double bottom. So I'm expecting that the prices uh, would go a little up right over here too. And would give us a chance to reverse when prices break this area there will be an indication that we can go down also uh, because of the higher high right over here we have we can use diagonal support line it's pretty interesting right so we can use diagonal support line we can use this one combine them together and we can see that this is coming to previous high of the trend so we have a swing another swing downward and this one so if you want to be really more careful we can break this uh, right over here and come down and will be a higher chance of prices reversal and we can definitely put our stop loss at the at the top right over here but the problem is it would keep the 
um, it would keep the the trade not very uh, beautiful because it will be far away the entry point would be far away from the uh, the structure in that case when prices do fall we can look at a correctional structure happening right and we can use that to add an entry point too the point here is I wanted to bring is that I'm expecting a major swing to be downward and then definitely we can I'm pretty sure all of you guys are trading um, have some experience of trading and you can use the smaller structure happening as an entry point for now on Monday I'm expecting that we are a little push upward is expected something like this so uh, this is it with our commodities uh, currencies I will uh, definitely try to add them to our regular currencies which will turn we already have three currencies that we normally look at into it so this will turn into six currencies forex currencies that will look into it um, I have added uh, platinum already in our analysis uh, silver and gold and crude oil and we definitely look at cryptocurrency as a whole uh, for that we look at uh, Bitcoin itself and within stocks we look at Tesla as an example of where the stock market is going and we do definitely look at the Dow Jones 30 uh, US S&P 500 and um, Nasdaq 100 so if you want to join come join me on my uh, YouTube channel and a lot of uh, some good stuff is there wish you good luck with your trading next week have a good one and bye bye and for those for those of you who are Muslims actually um, happy Eid uh, we are at the end of uh, Ramadan in uh, here in Canada today is the 30th day of the Ramadan and uh, tomorrow uh, God uh, willing will have the day of Eid so good and celebrations to everybody congratulations to everybody and uh, for the for the Eid day tomorrow wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye